Welcome back, Matt Dale Light Bulbs, to another My Hero Academia review. If you're a new viewer to my channel, remember to subscribe to become part of the Light Bulb Army. So, we have chapter 372 of My Hero Academia titled Naked. Now, last week's chapter of My Hero, I gave it a 10 out of 10, a perfect score. I have not rated a My Hero chapter a 10 out of 10 in some time. If I ever give an anime episode or a manga chapter a 10 out of 10, then that means I was really impressed. And yeah, last week's chapter was definitely that. Now, this week's chapter, we get to find out more about how Koji and Shoji were assigned to this part to guard the central hospital and the reason this happened was because Shoji was the one saying please assign us to defending central hospital and the reason they wanted to defend central hospital is because they found out that a group of heteromorphs were going after the hospital and Shoji does not want people that look like him and Koji to be discriminated any further he doesn't want you know, heteromorphs to get a bad name because of a few bad apples and he wants to stop them, which, you know, yes, he has to use violence against Spinner to try to take him down. And yes, Koji has to use violence while well, fight, let's say fight, you know, for their cause. But even through all of that, Spinner is one tough son of a, you know what I'm going to say, you know, keep it PG here. This guy is tough because he took a hit from present mike took the hit from shoji and even through all of that is still saying we must keep fighting on now not only that present mike giving his props to the new generation was really awesome to see because present mike says this no these young men are already way stronger than we were in our day as the three dombigos like this is so cool how the new generation are stronger than the past generation in terms like, you know, of their growth and stuff. And it's really awesome to see because, you know, with a quirk, sing I, I believe it was the quirk singularity theory where like quirks are getting so strong, like the human body, the body is not going to be able to adapt to it. You look at Aries quirk, there's mutated quirks and stuff that is too much for the body to handle. And it causes a great burden on on the user right so not only that koji in this chapter we see that koji is supposed to grow horns and stuff like his mother which we learn more about koji's backstory and for a bit i was like who is this character now looking really at the chapter it's koji he has the horns he has a bigger connection and with the horns his mother told him, you'll be able to beam your thoughts and feelings to animals that are even further away. So, you know, could get more animals to help out during his battles. And you just see a flock of birds just take down this member of the Paranormal Liberation. Paranormal Liberation Front, I believe it's called. Or Army, whatever the case is. And, you know, Spinner, like I was saying, through all of that, Spinner still gets up, Right. Shoji gives a speech about we're better than mere Avengers, you know, let, let's stop doing this. Think about your families. And this dude Spinner gets up and it's like, when they hit us, we hit them back. Brethren, be heard and follow me. Like, this is what he's saying. And he even looks more grotesque, more monstrous. It's like as time is going, Spinner is becoming more and more of a monster. And yeah, the quirk that all for one gave him just is just making him lose it all now i do gotta say the panel where horikoshi gave us because the reason spinner is doing all of this is to get into the hospital and break kurigiri out but that panel that last two panels where we have present mike and spinner both yelling one is yelling kurigiri and present Mike is Yaren Shirokumo. So who is going to awaken from that chair? Will it be Shirokumo's consciousness or will it be Kurigiri's? Like that was... Bro, I love how My Hero Academia Vigilantes ties to this because I, I'm not caught up with that series. Uh, I was catching up, but then I stopped. 
like how it just ties how their bond, Aizawa, Preston Mikes, and Shirakumo's in the past ties to all the way to now when Shirakumo in the past did die and then his body, his brain was intact, his body got stolen by the doctor and, you know, he made a, a nomu, a perfect nomu out of him, which in My Hero Academia Season 6 in the last episode, which I'm probably not going to review, I'm going to probably let some episodes pile up before I do another review of that. Um, yeah, they call Shigaraki the perfect Nomu, so I could, I, you could say that Koridiri is a high-end, a very intelligent high-end, you know, or I will say a near-perfect, a near-perfect Nomu would, would be the word for it, right? Now, the other thing is, Spinner is doing all of this for tomorrow's sake, he's like, you will become a hero, so... At this point in time in the story, Tomura Shigaraki is Spinner's hero. At one point in the story, Spinner's hero was Stain. But, you know, as time goes on, things definitely do change. I'll give this chapter an 8 out of 10. Peace.